very excited. This is my first time ever hosting a show. Also, this is really big for me because my family's here. So if you could just give them a round of applause for me. There's all these people here. So if you could give them a round of applause for being an awesome audience. Yeah. Alright, alright. Now that you guys are acquainted, um, we can continue with the show. Um, so people sometimes say that um, when you want to break up with someone, you should just like break it off really quick, like ripping off a band-aid. I kind of really like that idea, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna deal with all my relationships the way I deal with band-aids. So, I kind of got tired of this guy, so, so what I did was I just showered a lot and let the relationship get really gross and sticky, and like, it just kind of fell off one day. <laughs> um, <laughs> is anyone here in a relationship? Oh, no, oh, look like, at, <laughs> dad, not you. <laughs> okay, um, no, don't. I need to talk to one of you guys. These guys in the front. Okay, how many of you guys? Are, you're not in relationship together. No. no. Okay. <laughs> that was a. Sorry, that was just an assumption. Um, my fault. Okay, so how long have you been dating your significant others? A year. Nice. That's awesome for you. Like a week. At least. Yeah. At least you got him to DTR. Mom and Dad. DTR is when you define the relationship. <laughs> You don't know what that is, because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> okay, so who's, who's single here? Woo! Okay. Pablo. <laughs> What's your major? I'm a film student. You're a film student. Okay, I'm going to try and find you a girlfriend in this crowd. But I'm not a magician. This isn't a magic show. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best. Single ladies, this is Pablo. He's a film student. Anything? <laughs> you got ladies into film students out there? Okay, who's a single lady? Come on. Don't be scared. Oh, wow. They all just, just you guys all just got a like right here. <laughs> oh, Alex, tell me how you did that, because I need to figure it out. <laughs> because I don't want to be on Tinder anymore. <laughs> One more time, Mom and Dad, Tinder is where you go to find the person that will murder you. <laughs> Just kidding. It's where you go to like try and talk to people that you want to like date, hopefully meet. They're supposed to be nice. But like I think that boys don't really understand how Tinder works. Because like I think they forget that like on the other side of the screen is like a person with like hopes and wishes. <laughs> like, they're just so mean. Um, I had this one guy once, and I really want to get the wording right. Like, I just, I want it to be like a verbatim quote. Give me a second. Okay, he, he I got a match, and I was like, yes, I mean something. Um, I got a match, and um, he goes, yo, I got a 15-inch dick. And I'm yelling it because that's a really aggressive statement. So I just kind of assumed he was yelling off the bat. And I was like, oh, I need to answer him. <laughs> I'm a single lady. No, um, I was like, I'm going to answer him. So I, I, like, I type back and I'm like, is that a threat? <laughs> I have no idea what you want me to say to that. <laughs> like, that is way too much for like anyone. That is like too much. And like, I was just trying to think like, what in the world could anyone like do with that? <laughs> I can't, and I was like, maybe if we were like on the second floor of a burning building, like I would just like rappel down and be like, I'll remember you. <laughs> You know, fire safety, that's what he'd be useful for. Like, that's just what he should advertise on Tinder. I'm great for fires. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, I'm really excited to introduce your first um, comic of the night. Um, for your first comic, when asked what his favorite animal is, he said, dog. <laughs> that's a good animal. When asked to elaborate, he said, all dog. <laughs> Matt Campbell, ladies and gentlemen. Baby poop jokes, all right. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> how's that girlfriend search going? Um, are you sure this isn't a magic? Uh, no, because I'm not good at it. 
I'm trying. This is a really dude heavy crowd. <laughs> well, <what are> you? <laughs> no? All right, all right. We'll get we'll get back to that. I'll, I don't know. I don't know any single ladies in the crowd. Wait, do I know any single ladies in the crowd? Where's Carly? <laughs> she was hiding over there. She was talking like this bitch knows I'm single. I'm gonna get you next time. Um. Oh, give it up for Matt Campbell one more time. Yeah. Matt Campbell. debuting today at Carnegie Theater. Um, when I asked how he was feeling about today's show, he replied, well, miss, I sure do feel mighty fine. And here he is, Evan Parker! He's a senior. He's a really cool guy. She seems interested in I think it's working. Holy shit. This is a magic show. <laughs> okay, let's give it up one more time for Evan Parker. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, um, this is your for your next comic. They're also debuting in Carnegie uh, tonight. <laughs> When asked which of the five W's he prefers, he responded, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nick Razum, everyone. <laughs> Start hiding closer up. So All right, Nick Razum, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so our next comic performing for the second time here was asked what his favorite part about Penn State was. He replied, getting mad bitches. <laughs> and, here he is, and here he is, ladies man, Ethan Reese. Woo! <laughs> Next time they do it, I'm just gonna do like a 10 minute set and make you guys all like just pass out. Like, <laughs> just a 10 minute set of poops and babies. <laughs> All right, you guys are definitely paying it's attention art. right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Matt. I'm an okay. artist. <laughs> <laughs> it's art. Sorry, guys. It's my fault. All right. Um, you guys are being great. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys should all think about being professional audiences because you're killing it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> 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 All right. Give it up for Jackson Sweeney one more time. And yeah. For your next comic, when he was asked what is his most prized possession, he replied, the friendships made here at Second Floor Stand Up. Aw. Your next comic, Mike Regan, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Mike Regan, ladies and gentlemen. Um, when this comic was asked what his personal favorite comedian was, he said, Oh, he said Megan Getz. Oh, John Walter Stockwell. Great taste, John Walter Stockwell. <laughs> All right, guys, that's Ooh. our show. Give it up yeah. for all the comics. Yeah. Tuesday at 9.15, you should come try out. Um, we, the, is the improv show having something? Uh, the next Friday, I don't know the date specifically, but it'll be Friday at 7 in room 6 next in the Friday basement of the theater time. building. Oh, wait, I wasn't I done. <laughs> okay, there is an improv comedy show on the 10th at 7, so write that down now, because that's a lot of numbers. And um, you guys should definitely go to it, look out for it on Facebook, it's a lot of fun. Room 6 in the theater building. <laughs> That's the ominous voice. All right. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>